Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, we're gonna be going over the fantasy UI HUD overhaul by Senti into Ascent Combat Framework. Feel free to check out my Patreon or Senti affiliate link in the description below. Join my, dis join my Discord community for any help or questions you have. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is head over to my WBP Ultimate HUD. And you can also do this for the full sample. And I'll just delete this health bar because we don't need that one anymore. And whenever we adjust these stat bars, it's also gonna change the shape of both the health bar itself and our energy and, and mana because they're all referencing from the same stat bar. So I'm actually just gonna open up the stat bar again. So now I will so now I will duplicate this stat bar and I'll just call this um resource bar and double click to open this one up in the blueprint editor. And now I just wanna add the similar golden graphic that we have here, but I wanna apply it to both sides. And I'm just gonna drag that HP bar back in Photoshop that we created in the last video. And now I just need that arrow right. And I'll just reverse this and put this at this end. So this looks pretty, oh, no, I need to. So now I've flipped it and hopefully this looks fine. So I'm just gonna use this polygon lasso tool, this one right here. And I'm just gonna make sure I cut this, click one spot, cut this perfectly or as perfect as I can do it and cut this side. And this looks fine to me. It's maybe not the most perfect one, but for my limited art skills, this is what I got. So now I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna change the name of this. Actually, I'll select these two layers, hit Control E to merge. And I'll just call this something like stat bar. And then I'll right click and export this PNG. And I'll just export it to my Cinti Fantasy Warrior HUD and hit save. And now I wanna also drag this SPR Fantasy Warrior bar horizontal to make sure it fits on both ends. So I'll put this up here and down here just to get the width of it perfectly set up. And then I'll stretch these out. And this is actually not fitting the way I want it to. So I'll just break this end and I'll copy paste this over here. And I'll just place it behind this bar to see if it looks good. And this looks fine to me. And then I'll just copy paste this and move this over here. And then I also wanna just go to edit and I wanna flip it. So I'll go to transform and then flip horizontally and just put this right here to line this up. And then I'll get the polygon lasso tool again and just cut out the edges. It's probably not gonna be perfectly straight, but this is fine for me. And now I can move this up and I'll try to connect it right to the ends here like so. And I think I'll put this behind behind these two. So this looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just merge these layers together, the ones that are visible. And I'll just call this something like stat bar fill. And I'll right click, export this PNG and just place it here again. And it's gonna look ugly right now, but I think the color overlay, oh shoot, I need to fill this out. Okay, so now this is not 100% better, but just need to erase that extra part to get rid of the shadow like so. Okay, this looks good. Now I'll re-export this or re-merge this and then export it. So I'll call this stat bar fill, right click, quit export as and just overwrite this. And I'll go back to my project and I'm gonna just import those two pictures in. And I'll drag these two in like so. Now when I go to my new stat bar WVP, I'm gonna select that stat bar fill for both the background and the fill image. So if you're not able to see it on both ends, you just need to set your X to zero for both of them. And it does look a little weird because I did leave the arrows a bit bigger than the bar, but we'll just have our border fix that up for us. So maybe we can just do that right here. So I'll just add an image like so. And this image will be our stat bar. And I'll just resize this till it looks nice. So this looks pretty good to me. I might need to lower this a little bit. Okay, so this looks good to me. And now I'm gonna hit compile save and I'll drag these into our, oh shoot, I was supposed to copy this into our resource bar. And now that we've adjusted our resource bar, I'm going to just go back to my WP HUD and I'll delete the stamina and mana bar like so. And instead I would just wanna add two of the resource bar under the HP bar. And I think for this one, I'm just gonna change it from RPG statistics health to mana. So you'll see it turn blue. And the other one, the third one will be stamina. So it'll turn green. And I also wanna adjust the size of this. And before we adjust the size, we're gonna go back over here where it says stamina and mana bar. And we're gonna replace these accordingly. So I'm actually gonna go back to my WBP HUD designer and change the name from resource bar to mana bar. 
And then for the energy one, I'll just call this or stamina bar like so, and then hit compile. And then I'll just replug this in. And now for this, I can delete these two stamina and resource bar. And because we copied and pasted this stat bar and called it resource bar, we just need to drag out our mana bar. And then we're going to init the stat bar from here. So you see the target here, stat bar WBP. And for this one, it's resource bar. And then I'll just plug this in right after here. And the character reference will be as ACF character, just like here. And then I also want to do the same for the stamina bar. And then we'll connect this to the init XP bar. And we'll go ahead and change the XP bar once we finish our bars here. And we can test that the mana and the stamina is working as expected. But I don't really like my UI to be kind of the same size. I want my stamina and mana bar to be a bit smaller. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'll leave a padding of something like 120. And I'll wrap this with a scale box. So I'm going to wrap the mana bar and the stamina bar. Just right click wrap with a scale box as well. And then I'll select mana bar, the scale box above mana bar. And then I'll do a padding left of let's do 120 and bottom will also be. And the same thing with the stamina bar scale box. But I also want to shift this up a bit. So I'm just going to select my HP bar. And then for the padding, not over here in the vertical box slot, but in the actual under appearance, I'm going to select bottom and do a padding of, or top. Actually, yeah, I'll do a bottom, pad, a bottom padding of negative 30, maybe negative 40. Hopefully that's not too close. Okay, negative 35 is good. And I'll leave this as so. And this is okay. It doesn't look the best. What I could do is move the stamina a bit more to the right, like so. And I'll go ahead and just compile and try this out. And it definitely looks pretty weird, but um, I got an idea. Let me just move this to the top actually. So I will undo that and let's see how it looks if the HP stuff is at the top or if this vertical box is at the top. So I'll hit compile, save. And now I'll hit play and okay. It does look better, but that experience bar is damn ugly, but I get it. It's just, it's just for testing and stuff. And now in the next video, I'll go over the experience bar, changing that. And we're not, we're probably going to change the location of it. I think it looks kind of bad here. And then we also need to fix our compass and change the icons on it and our quest text to match Cinti's. Thanks for watching Code of the Road. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.